Nothing. You look like you about to say something. I was going to, but nah, I'm good. <laughs> you good. What's that supposed to mean? I'm good. Hey, man, I don't want to argue with Antonio, all right? I just want to enjoy my lunch and then get back to work. Yeah, what happened, man? No, man, what the hell are you listening to? Huh? What are you listening to? Hey, hey, man. Headphones on. Really? You jamming the jingle bells? It's Christmas, man. Where's your Christmas spirit, brother? Christmas spirit. Where's your African spirit, brother? Oh, man. Here we go. Oh, here we go. It ain't enough that 400 years of slavery was forced upon us, and now you want to perpetuate the stereotype that keeps us enslaved? Enslaved. Really, Antonio? Because uh, I don't see no chains around my neck. That's because they removed them from around your neck and placed them here. See, our physical slavery was abolished December 6, 1865. But here we are, over 400 years later, still slaves, mentally and financially. Financially? How's that? <clears throat> Anybody with half a brain knows that a people's true power lies within their economic development. So as long as we continue to buy into these mythical, money-sucking holidays, <clears throat> we will never have the financial infrastructure to be able to demand a seat at the table. Man, what table? <laughs> exactly. Just keep on being a drone. Be like the 65% who squirrel away 20% into the Christmas funds annually giving the banks capital to invest and make profits of billions of dollars. Then you, being the drones that you are, withdraw thousands of money that you saved. And within three days, poof, 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 all your hard-earned money is spent in department stores that don't give a damn about you, spent on name brands that don't give a damn about you, and spent on presents for people who don't give a damn about you. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on, hold on, man. You trying to say my kids don't give a damn about me? How old are they? Desiree is two, and Dion Jr., he's four. <laughs> My point exactly. They're too young to give a damn about you. Hold up, whoa, whoa, time out, man. Hold up. <laughs> you got your mind now, man. I bet you bought your in laws something for Christmas, didn't you? Well, yeah. Keep it real, keep it going. Do they give a damn about you? Come on. Uh, but, uh, See? Keep it real. Keep it on. Man, they ain't supposed to give a damn about me, man. They my in-laws. Man, y'all better get with the program. Do like Farrakhan said, boycott Christmas. Boycott what? Christmas? Man, look, Farrakhan says- Man, I don't give a damn what Farrakhan says or any other kind says. I'm not denying my baby's Christmas. That's not gonna happen. And that's keeping it 100. No, that's right. Man, so, let me ask you this then. Is there any holiday that you're actually cool with? <laughs> Kwanzaa, probably. <laughs> it's too, too <laughs> joke. Joke. No, right? Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa's worse than Christmas. Kwanzaa was started by a black dude. What's his name? A doctor? Um... I think it's all like Karanga. Yeah, Karanga. Karanga was an agent provocateur sent into the black community by the government to destroy us from the inside out. So you ain't nothing worse than being enslaved by your own kind. Where are you getting your information from that he was an agent provocateur sitting to me? Get out of here, man. Man. My half-sister's father's mother's brother was an ex-CIA agent. See? He was J. Edgar Hoover's right hand. Y'all remember the movie The Spook That Sat By The Door? Well, he was a spook that brought J. Edgar Hoover his coffee every morning. See? I know all the real stories behind all the conspiracies. Bro, hold up. Time out. Time out. See, what you're trying to do is trying to change the subject because ain't nobody talking about no damn conspiracies. We're talking about Christmas. Right. And Christmas is not a conspiracy. Yeah. Said the ignorant Fulio. What up? What'd you say to me? See, that's what's wrong with us today. We quick to put our hands on the bro. Hold, 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 hold up, hold up. Fellas, what is going on up in here? Nothing. Ain't nothing going on. Nothing. Man. It better not be. Because this is the Christmas season. Let's remember the word Christ in Christmas. This is the time of year when we should be uh, filled with joy, filled with the Holy Spirit. And our, uh, who the f took my motherfucking lunch out the goddamn refrigerator?
refrigerator. Sister Dolores. Don't you, Sister Dolores, me. This is the second time this done happened this week. Well, you know you had Do it look like I eat yogurt? Is that a true question? I should knock you clean the f Oh, Jesus. Oh, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, amen. 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 Asalaamu Alaikum. Before I forget, the Christmas party is no longer held on the 23rd. The boss has changed it to Christmas Eve. <sighs> What's the problem? Y'all not coming to the Christmas party? Christmas Eve. Oh, that's what I said. Nah, man, got in-laws coming in town. I already made plans with my family, so. Antonio. I know you coming to the Christmas party, right? right? Hell yeah, I'm gonna be there. Ah, God is good. Man, hold up, man. All that trash you were just sitting here talking about Christmas and stuff, and you going to the Christmas party? Eh, you whack. Man, first off, I'm not going to the Christmas party because it's a Christmas party. I'm going because it's a party for Christmas. Man, what? Man, so parties mean free food? Free booze and a whole lot of free twerking. Y'all know how them secretaries from the 10th floor be getting down when they get a little bit of liquor in them. <laughs> you right about that. They is some freaks, though. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. You right about that. <laughs> hey, man, you gonna eat the other half of that. Cause man, get the hell away from my sandwich. She just, now you should see what she did to me. No, man, see? That's our problem today. Always touching something that don't belong to us. Look at what happened to OJ and Lamar Odom. Buy black and don't buy into the myth. Antonio, you still plan Santa for the Christmas party, right? Hell yeah. Ha! Hallelujah. <laughs> okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> so what happens to all of this financial slavery, boycott Christmas, slavery, foundations, uh, don't buy into the myth bullshit? You was just spouting. You gonna dress up with some damn Santa Claus and hand out gifts for, at the Christmas party? Man, you, you whack, man. Yeah. Once again, you fail to see the monkeys through the trees. Contrary to what you may think, I only agreed to play Santa because people of all ages see Santa as an authority figure. Just imagine the power we as black people would have if everyone accepted Santa as being black. Imagine Easter Bunny, black. Cupid, black, baby Jesus. Man, shut the hell up, man. Dang, Dion right, man, you are whack. God dang, this, this fool, man, you it. This, look, man, my break is over anyway, man. I'm out. You lost your damn mind. Well, at least I didn't buy my in-laws presents knowing they don't give a damn about me. They don't give a damn about you, but I'm just saying. Seriously, after I told you no, you still gonna try to grab my sandwich? You whack. I know, in the name of Jesus, you not about to eat that nasty ass yogurt off that nasty ass floor. I'ma pray for you. She's whack.